The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo Song to Demian of the Rhyme In the icy eastern reaches of Fierda, a cemetery stood, and among its rows were both humble graves marked by nothing but wooden staves and fine mausoleums hewn of marble, grand houses for the dead. A forest grew up around the cemetery, and at first the people paid the trees no mind, happy for their shade. But soon the birches grew so thick and so dense that no one could reach the cemetery to tend to the graves of their family members or pay homage to their ancestors. They went to Demian, the nobleman whose land the forest had grown upon, and asked that he do something about the trees. Demian had his servants go out to the forest with their axes and cut a smooth path to the cemetery so that all could walk comfortably through the woods. But when the rains came, without trees to stop the floods, water rushed straight down the path to the graveyard, uprooting markers and gravestones and casting the lids off tombs. Again, the townspeople came to complain. This time, Demian designed an aqueduct and had it built around the cemetery so that the rain would not disturb the graves and the water would be diverted to irrigate the fields. But the aqueduct cast the graveyard in shade, so plants and flowers rarely grew there, and now families shivered in the cold when they went to visit their dead. Yet again, the people brought their grievances to Demian. But this time he was not certain what to do. He walked the path to the cemetery through the woods and looked up at the tall aqueduct and laid his hands upon the soil. He could think of no solution that would make his people happy, unless the saints saw fit to raise the cemetery up to the sun itself. The earth began to shake and the ground rose high, higher, a mountain where there had been no mountain before. When the rumbling stopped, the cemetery perched at its top, where it would never be troubled by floods or crowded by trees. The people followed Dimion up to the cemetery and found that no grave had been disturbed or soul displaced. Only one tomb was cracked, Dimion's family crypt. Maybe they were shaken by the wonders they had seen. Maybe they did not know how to be satisfied. Whatever the reason, the people Dimion had sought so hard to please threw up their hands in woe. They claimed that he had disrespected his family name. They cried that he had cursed them all by using dark magic. Someone picked up a piece of marble from the broken tomb and hurled it at Dimion. Driven mad by getting what they wanted, the others followed, hurling stones at the nobleman until he lay crumpled beneath the ruins of his own family crypt. It is said that the tallest mountain in the Elgin is the one upon which Dimion died. He is known as the patron saint of the newly dead.